Mother's Day is right around the corner. And what I love about Mother's Day is it gives me time to reflect on how far I've come as a mother of two strong-willed boys. They are a huge blessing. They have brought me so many memories so far and so much back pain, so much back pain. For this Mother's Day, I am really looking forward to brunch. I love brunch. I love brunching with my friends, with my family, and I wanted to create a really cute hairstyle to wear. I recently cut my hair into a bob, so I really wanted to show off the versatility you can get with this haircut. So I thought I would do a braid out on my fine curly hair. I really love the way it came out, but I'm gonna show you exactly how I got this style. Today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry, who was so kind to send me over some of their beautiful, sustainable pieces. I've worked with them in the past and I really love their affordable quality jewelry, which I am wearing right now. We'll get into in a minute. So if you'd like to learn a little bit more about how I created this curly bob and a little bit more on Ana Luisa Jewelry, just keep watching. So before we get into this tutorial, I just wanted to give you a little info on Ana Luisa Jewelry and why I chose the pieces that I did. Ana Luisa Jewelry has fair priced, long lasting pieces that are tarnish free. They don't have luxury markups like some of the other brands you might see out there and they have prices starting as low as $39. One thing I do love about them is that they are carbon neutral from the way that they source things to the way that they dispose of them. They start with recycled materials whenever possible and they create their collections in limited batches to help avoid excess waste. So if you're looking for the perfect gift for your mom or for yourself or for your mom friends, this is an excellent option. They are having a 15% off sale for Mother's Day, it's for a limited time, and as long as you order before May 5th, you will have guaranteed standard shipping to arrive before May 9th, and it will be May 3rd for my international shoppers. So I sent my mother the mama necklace because she's just such a hardworking, fun-loving, great energy, lovable person to be around. I got this same necklace last year, and I wanted us both to share this special piece. It's 14 karat gold plated and obviously a really great gift for your mom friends, Mother's Day or the holidays. The next piece is the Temple Green Layered Necklace Set. This is 14 karat gold plated with one of my favorite gemstones, Malachite. There's something so luxurious about the green marbling of the stone. I just love it. It does come with two gold chains so you can wear them together or separate and they pair really well with other jewelry. The last item I received were the Cruise Huggy Hoops. They are 14 karat gold plated on 100% recycled sterling silver. The inspiration for these is the mythic designs of talisman jewelry and the charm has a cubic zirconia gem in the center. And in case you're wondering, they are really lightweight on my ears. All of these are available on analuisa.com. If you check down in the description box right now, you will see that there is a direct link to the website so you can take advantage of the 15% off sale, which is just for a limited time. So now that you know a little bit about Ana Luisa, let's get into this tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do is start on dry hair. Uh, you could do this on wash day, but I think it's better to start on old hair that has a little bit of grip and texture to it from your products. It really helps uh, the braids stay better, um, and I just think the overall look is better. Then I'm gonna decide how I want my hair to fall. I think I'm going to do a deep side part. So I'm going to use my sectioning comb and add a nice little part here. Then I'm going to tie back the bottom half of my hair. Next, I'm going to add another section that goes all the way down to my ears. So basically, I have a large bang area here. And then the remaining section, I'm gonna tie back as well. Now I'm just gonna use my fingers to gently detangle any little knots in here. Um, I just washed my hair the day before, so it's not super tangled. And I just wanna make sure that the braids are easy to do. Then I'm going to use the Jane Carter Wrap and Roll Foam. And I tend to use this particular foam for almost all of my braid outs and uh, twist outs and perm rod sets. I just really like how light it is. It's really good on fine curls. And um, I'm also gonna take a little pump of the Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Gel and just smooth that into my hair to help with hold. I do find by not washing my hair the same day, it just helps the drying process the next day. Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna start braiding my hair. I'm going to be doing some cornrows here. Um, if you're familiar with how to do a French braid, which is all of your hair or double French braids on two sides, it's more or less the same thing. I'm um, just using smaller sections here. And what I'm doing is starting with a regular braid with three sections and then add a new section of hair from one end, cross it over the middle section and repeat the same on the opposite end. And you'll basically repeat this until you can't grab any more outside sections. You finish off the end with a regular braid. And I'm just going to take a small touch of gel just to smooth it over my braids, just to create that extra hold. And then I'm gonna take down this middle section here and make a giant part for the next braid. And basically we're just going to repeat the same exact process on the next section. And you can tell that my sections are definitely not perfect. Um, I'm not too concerned about it because this is a braid out. I'm not wearing them out in public. I think um, if I was, I would be a little bit more precise with my parting. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add perm rods at the end of my braids. This is just going to help my waves have a nice bend in the end so they're not stringy looking. Um, there is a little bit of a difference if you don't do this. Um, sometimes they get unraveled at night and this just really ensures that they stay in place. Now that the perm rods have been added, I am going to just take a nice satin scarf and tie the top of my hair down just so it stays nice and smooth and keeps um, my hair from getting frizzy overnight. Okay, so it's the next day and it's time to take down the scarf, take out the perm rods and unbraid my hair. The scarf is really good at just making sure that I don't have a frizzy braid out the next day. This will help smooth everything down. Everything looks really clean. I'm gonna start by taking out these perm rods. Okay, so now those are out. And I'm gonna use one of my favorite oils just to take down these braids. This is by Darshana. It's their natural Indian hair oil. Um, it's an Ayurvedic formula and it's got antioxidants, omegas 369, and uh, vitamins A, B, C, and E. I love that you can just kind of change your texture from a braid out. I went from curly to a nice tight wave and it really makes this bob look more structured. All right, and I think I want to smooth out my edges here. My edges are coming in really nicely um, for those of you that have been following. I'm going to be using the Mayal Rosemary Mint Strengthening Edge Gel. I'm gonna smooth a little bit of that here. I'm going to take my Cameron's BFF edge brush, and I'm just going to smooth this little area out. So I've already smoothed out this area. I'm going to just use a couple bobby pins to tuck this behind my ear because I really want to show off my huggies. All right, now I'm going to just do a little bit of shaking underneath. I'm not going to do anything on top because I really want to keep that smooth and polished. I probably should have done this before I added the bobby pin. <laughs> oh well. This is like exactly what I was going for and I'm so happy it turned out good. I think when it comes to doing braid outs or twist outs, um, 
the braid outs work a lot better on finer textures. I noticed that the twist outs just kind of get really limp and frizzy after a while, but the braid out gives you a little bit more body and I just really like the way it looks at the end. And that's it for today's video. I would like to thank once again Ana Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring this video. If you haven't had a chance to check down in the description box yet, please do so for their 15% off Mother's Day sale. It's only going on for a limited time. If you're feeling this hairstyle, please leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.